We found two young male cheetah lying in the shade as they do on the edge of this woodland. It wasn't long before a string of white-bearded wildebeest arrived and began to move through the grassland and into the trees. And this great tension began to play out. It's not difficult to read the intentions of a cheetah. And these two were obviously quite interested in the animals that were moving past them. The catalyst to this whole situation arrived in the form of a wildebeest calf, which was walking in a very relaxed manner, just following its mother. And the calf made the mistake of lagging a little behind its mother. The cheetah was already in full flight by the time I turned the camera, and it accelerated away from me as the, the adult animals fled. disappeared in a cloud of dust as it caught the little calf which tried to flee. Takedown was quite violent and the, the second cheetah arrived. There was a gallery of zebra that were watching And as they did, the two males made no bones about beginning to feed very quickly on the small wildebeest. They neglected one thing, and that was to execute the kill, and the little animal was still alive. And this brings up an interesting point, because the competition between these two brothers was so intense that neither one of them wanted to take the responsibility of actually disposing with the small wildebeest. And eventually one of them would reluctantly go and attempt to kill the poor animal. And I think the issue here is that these calves are really small and obviously don't provide much meat for two cheetahs. And true to cheetah form, they end up in the shade of a tree, nice and inconspicuous, hidden from hyenas and lions and even vultures to a large extent. 